بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے ول اسٹارٹ دس بک فرام دا بگننگ دا نیم آف بک از دروس الوغت العلویہ اٹ از آلسو ناؤن ایز مدینہ بک دس بک از اسٹارٹ ایٹ مدینہ اسلامک یونیورسٹی ان سعودی عربیہ اف یو ڈونٹ ہیو دس بک یو کین کانٹیکٹ می آن مائی واٹس ایپ آئی ول سینڈ یو دا بک ان شاء اللہ so today we are going to <coughs> start this from the first lesson in the first lesson you will learn about the word haza haza mean this the meaning of haza is this and haza is used to refer only masculine words and there one more thing we write haza like this but we pronounce haza like this so we pronounce an alif after ha but in writing we don't write this alif then the second thing that in arabic there is no word for the english word is okay so in the word is does not has any arabic translation then you also learn in this chapter the meaning of tanween you see kitabun has tanween baitun has tanween so in arabic the normal ending of every ism is this tanween if you use something else with the noun like damma fata kasra fatatain kasratain or jazam then you must provide some reason why you are not using this the matain this type of tanween so this is the normal ending of every noun in arabic so the meaning of tanween is a or an so if we say baitun this mean a book kitabun a book baitun a house so this is the normal ending of every ism and tanween mean a or an so you better pause the video and read these sentences for once and also i recommend you to read these notes this will be beneficial for you then another thing that you learn in this chapter is that haza baitun is a normal sentence this is a house but to make it interrogative sentence you will just put a particle hamza in front of it so when you put particle hamza in front of it a haza baitun is this a house it becomes a interrogative sentence so in this way you can just simply convert any simple sentence into interrogative sentence so this particle hamza is called hamzatul istifamiya now you have some vocabulary i recommend you to memorize this vocabulary then write the meaning of these words on your notebook without looking at the book then you will upload it to google classroom where i will check it so now we are going to start the first lesson bismillah rahman rahim haza mean this haza baitun this is a house haza masjidun this is a masjid haza babun this is a door haza kitabun this is a book هذا قلم this is a pen هذا مفتاح this is a key هذا مكتب this is a table هذا سرير this is a bed هذا كرسي this is a chair then we have ما هذا ما mean what ما mean what ما هذا what is this ما هذا what is this هذا بيت this is a house هذا بيت is this a house naam haza bait yes this is a house ma haza what is this 
هذا قميص this is a shirt هذا سرير is this a bed لا هذا كرسي no this is a chair هذا مفتاح is this a key لا هذا قلم no this is a pen ما هذا what is this هذا نجم this is a star تم تمرين so تمرين الأول mean first exercise ما هذا what is this so here you will write the answer هذا مفتاح then the question ما هذا what is this here again you will write the answer هذا كتاب here you will write هذا قلم in this way you will write the answers here so then after writing the answers you will open google classroom and you will submit your homework there like this one so let me tell you the class code first that you will use to join the class so this is the class code that you will use to join the class so i will copy this then you will go to google classroom in google classroom you will click on this plus icon then you will click on join class then you will type the class code here then you will click on join once you have joined the class you will click on class work then you will go to homework number one so here you see book is also available you can easily download the book by click on it then it will allow you to download the book as well so you need to go to homework number one you will go to homework number one and you will click on your assignment and there you can upload your homework so in this way you can do the homework as well Tamreen Usani second exercise you can also upload the your audio for example just answer this question and record your audio or you can also upload the screen recording which is better so you can upload your screen recording as well so Tamreen Usani second exercise Ah Haza Bayit is this a house the answer is La Haza Masjid no this is a masjid Ah Haza Mifta is this a key La Haza Kalam no this is a pen Ah Haza Kameez is this a shirt Naam Haza Kameez yes this is a shirt Ah Haza Najam is this a star Naam Haza Najam تمرین السالی start exercise اکرا وقت اب read and write so here he is asking you to read these sentences so what you are going to do basically he wants you to put تنوین on each of them هازا مکتبون هازا مسجدون هازا قلمون هازا سریرون you know the meaning of تنوین is آ or ان so this is a desk this is a mosque this is a pen this is a bed Mahaza, what is this? Haza Kursi, this is a chair. So that's why he is asking you to read them. Man mean who? Man Haza, who is this? Man Haza, who is this? Haza Tabib, this is a doctor. Man Haza, who is this? Haza Walad, this is a boy. Man Haza, who is this? Haza Talib, this is a student. Ahaza Walid, is this a boy? La Haza Rajul, no, this is a man. Mahaza, what is this? Haza Masjid, this is a masjid. Man Haza, who is this? Haza Tajir, this is a merchant. Haza Kalb, this is a dog. La, okay, Ahaza Kalb, is this a dog? La. Haza Kit, no, this is a cat. Haza Himar, this is a donkey. La, Ahaza Himar, is this a donkey? 
La haza his son. No, this is a horse. Wama haza and what is this? Haza jamal. This is a camel. Ma haza. What is this? Haza dik. This is a rooster. Man haza. Who is this? Haza mudaris. This is a teacher. A haza kamis. Is this a shirt? La. Haza mindi. No, this is a handkerchief. Now again he is asking you to read these sentences. Basically, I recommend you to just, uh, just translate these sentences. So you can translate them on your notebook. Or you can upload the screen recording just like I am recording the screen at the moment. And you will upload it to Google Classroom. Ma haza, what is this? Haza kalam, this is a pen. Haza kalam, this is a dog. So in this way you can do it. Then we have lesson number two, second lesson. In the second lesson, you will learn the meaning of zalika. Zalika means that, and the word zalika is used to refer all the masculine nouns, masculine asma, and wa meaning and. So you will learn these two words. Similar to haza, we also pronounce alif after zal, but this alif is not written. And the word wow is attached to the next word. Usually, it is placed right next to it, very close to it. Then we have some vocabulary. I recommend you to write your meanings without looking at the book. First, memorize them, then write them out without looking at the book. Zalika means dead. Adar susani. Ma zalika, what is that? Zalika najam. Dead is a star. Haza masjid, this is a masjid. Wazalika bait, and that is a house. Azalika kalb, is that a dog? La. Zalika kid, no, that is a cat. So, in this way, you can read it. Haza sukkar, this is sugar. Wazalika laban, and that is milk. Ma zalika, what is that? Zalika hajar, that is stone. Haza mudarris, this is teacher, and wazalika imam, and that is the imam. Ikra waktub, read and write. He is asking you to read these sentences. Haza sukkarun, wazalika laban. This is sugar, and that is milk. Man zalika, who is that? Zalika imam. That is Imam. Azalika kit. Is that a cat? La zalika kalb. No, that is a dog. Mahaza, what is this? Haza hajar. This is a stone. Al kalimatul jadida. New words. So, I recommend you to write their meanings here. Adasus salis. Third lesson. So, here you will learn about the particle al. So in this lesson you will learn about the particle al. So you see baitun has a tanween but it does not have the particle al. So baitun means a house. But when we add the particle al, we can't use tanween here. So we are using only one dhamma. So al baitu mean the house. So tanween mean a and al mean the. So al baitu mean the house. Baitu mean a house. Then the second thing that you are going to learn in this chapter is about Haruful Kamaliya and Haruful Shamsiya. In Arabic we have 28 letters in total. 28 alphabets, 28 letters. We divide them into two categories. 14 are called Haruful Shamsiya, solar letters. And the other 14 are called Haruful Kamariya, lunar letters. The main difference is this that in Haruful Kamariya, we pronounce the lam like, here are the examples Al Kitabu, Al Baitu, like these words. 
अलमाओ इन दोज वर्ड्स वी आर प्रोनाउंसिंग अलिफ बट इन हरूफ शमसिया लाम बिकम साइलेंट सो वी रीड अन नजमो वी राइट अल नजमो बट वी प्रोनाउंस अन नजमो वी प्रोनाउंस अल रजुलो वी प्रोनाउंस अदी को असमा को वी विल लर्न दिस चैप्टर्स इन द बुक द मैन लेसन इन शाला इन डिटेल एंड वेन दिस अल हैज एनी वर्ड और लेटर बिफोर इट अलिफ बिकम साइलेंट सो वाह अल बई तो इज प्रोनाउंसड वल बई तो यू वर लर्न दिस थिंग्स इन दिस चैप्टर सो हे वी हैव एग्जाम्पल सो नॉर्मली वी प्रोनाउंस अल बई तो बट वेन वी हैव एनी वर्ड बिफोर इट वी से वल बई तो मिनल बई ती अलिफ बिकम साइलेंट सो यू हैव लर्न इन दीवियस चैप्टर दैट तनवीन मीन आ सो वेन वी put a tanween on any noun we translate it as a house a book but when we put a tanween on adjective we don't use the word a in translation so it can't say maftoon as a open but we will just say open broken directly without using the particle a now you have vocabulary again i recommend you to memorize it and then write it on your notebook without looking at the book and that's the salis third lesson baitun mean a house al baitu the house kitabun a book al kitabu the book kalamun a pen al kalamu the pen जमल उन आ कैमल अल जमल दी कैमल अल कलम उ मकसूर द पेन इज ब्रो कैन अलबाब उ मफतू हन द डोर इज ओपन सो यू सी वन वी यूज द पार्टिकल अल वी कॉन्ट यूज दन वी अल वल दू जल सुन द बॉय इज सिटिंग वल मुदर इज वाकिफ हन एंड द टीचर इज स्टैंडिंग नो इफ यू हैव मेमराइज द वो कैबल ऑन द प्रीवियस पेज दैन दिज sentences will be easy for you inshallah al kitab u jadid un wal kalam u qadim qadim un the book is new and the pen is old al himar u saghir un wal hisan u kabir un the donkey is small and the horse is big so you see we have a word before ab alif so alif become silent wal hisan u al kursi u maksur un the chair is broken Al mindi luwa sekhun the handkerchief is dusty, dirty. Al ma u baridun the water is cold. Al kamar u jamilun the moon is beautiful. Al baidu karibun wal masjidu baidun the house the house is near and the masjid is far. Al hajaru sakilun wal waraku khafifun the stone is heavy and the paper is light in weight. Al-Labanu Harun, the milk is hot. Al-Kamisu Nazifun, the shirt is clean. The marine exercise. Ikra waktu ma dabti awakil kajmat. Read and write with the vowelization of the endings of the word. So basically, you will just put the vowel at the end of every word. So normal ending of every isam in Arabic is tanwin. So you will put a tanwin here. Masjidun. माउन बाबुन कलम कलबुन कमीस हन बट वेन वी यूज वेन वी एट द पार्टिकल अल कॉन्ट यूज दन वीन सो हेर यू विल पुट ऑन इन द मार्क अल मसिद अल माउ अल बई तो अल कलम सो यू विल पुट द वावल्स एट दी एंड एंड देन यू विल अपलोड इट टू गूगल क्लास रूम सो डेट आई कैन चेक इकरा वक्त ब्रीड एंड राइट अल मकतब मकसूर The table is broken. Al mudarrisu jadidun. The teacher is new. So again, he just ah uh, want he just want you to put the last vowel on each word. Al kamisu wa sekhun. The shirt is dirty. Al labanu baridun. The milk is cold. So he wants you to put the last vowel on each word. 
املأ الفراغ فيما يلي بوضع الكلمة المناسبة من الكلمات التالية fill in the blanks which are below by putting appropriate word from the following words so you will use these words to fill these blanks I will do half of them for you al hajaru the stone the stone is sakilun al hajaru sakilun the stone is heavy al babu maftuhun the door is open al kamaru jamilun the moon is beautiful so in this way you will fill these blanks this is your homework imla al faraga fi ma yali bi wadi kalimat al munasiba fill in the blanks which are below by putting appropriate word so you need to put any appropriate word here for example nazif mean clean so i will say the shirt is clean al kamisu nazifun then broken i will say the chair is broken al kursi yu maksur then barid mean cold so i will say al ma'u baridun the water is cold kareem mean near hmm. so we say al al madra al masjidu al masjidu kareebun the masjid is near then bait we say al baitu al baiti al baitu baidun the house is far so in this way you will fill this blanks al kalimatul jadida again i recommend you to memorize them let's see what time is now 21 minutes we still have 9 minutes so let's see whether we can complete it or not we can complete it if, if we do it quickly so let's give it try to complete it so here whenever we have chadda lam becomes silent so najmun a star an najmu lam is silent here the star rajulun a man ar rajulu the man so lam is silent because of shanda the kun a rooster and the ku the rooster at talibu the student an najmu baidun the star is far Ar Rajulu Akifon, the man is standing. Ar Sukaru Hulun, the sugar is sweet. Ar Talibu Marizun, the student is sick. Ar Diku Jarmilun, the rooster is beautiful. Ar Daftaru Jatidun, the notebook is new. Again, I recommend you to either upload your screen recording or, or write them on your notebook and upload it to Google Classroom. So main thing that whenever you have shadda, lam becomes silent. So the question when we place this shadda, its answer is in the this exercise of arufal kamariya and arufal shamsiya. In arufal shamsiya, we put shadda, and in arufal kamariya we don't put shadda. Tam tamreen exercise ikra waktu ma dabtiya waqil kalimat read and write with correct endings. So. Al Babu here we don't have shadda. At Tajiru here you need to put shadda on ta. An Najmu you need shadda on noon. Al Kamaru no shadda. At Diku put shadda on dal. Al Mau the water. So in Haruful Shamsia we put shadda, and in Haruful Kamriya we don't put any shadda. Imla is faraga fi ma yali bi wadi kalimat in munasiba. Fill in the blanks which are below by putting any appropriate word. Gani mean rich, so we say atta jiru gani yun. The merchant is rich. Hulf sweet, so we say asukkaru hulvan. The sugar is sweet. Mariz mean patient. Atta libu mariz yun. The student is sick. So in this way you will put, you will fill these blanks. This is also your homework. Ikhtar kalimatan min al-kaimati ba tunasib al-kalimatu al-lati fi al-kaimati hamza. Choose a word from the list B which is appropriate to the one in the list alif. So I will say a talibu marizun. You will join or you can just write talibu marizun here. Addukanu maftuhun. So you can join them or you can just write it here. 
so I am using Zudu Reader. In Zudu Reader, we can write it, or we can do whatever we want. We can also join them. We can write them. Atukanu maktuhun atufahu lazizun. So we can also write them here. Atalibu maridun. You can download this Zudu Reader. The name is Zudu Reader from Windows Store. You can download it from Windows Store. You can download it from Apple Store. You can download it from Google Play Store. So in this way, you will do this question. Al Kalimat al Jadida new words. So again, I recommend you to memorize them and write their meanings. Al Haruful Kamriya wa Al Haruful Shamsiya. In Haruful Kamriya, Lam is pronounced Al Babu, Al Abu, Al Babu, Al Jannatu, Al Himaru, Al Khubzu, Al Ainu. But in Haruful Shamsiya, Lam becomes silent. At Tajiru, At Sawbu, At Tiku, At Zahabu, Al Rajulu. This is a main difference between Haruful Kamriya and Haruful Shamsiya. Ikra al Kalimat al Atiya. Read the following words Waktubha and write them Marayan keeping in mind Kawai the rules of Nutki pronunciation Al Huruful Kamriya wa Shamsiya pronunciation of Huruful Kamriya and Shamsiya Al Baitu no Shadda is needed because it is Kamri Haruf Addiku Dal is Shamsi so we need Shadda here Al Mudarisu Mim is Kamari, so we don't need Shadda. Al Babu, no need of Shadda. At Talibu, Ta is Shamsi Harf, so you will put Shadda here. As Sukaru, At Daftaru, Al Akhu, Al Rasulu, so you will just put Shadda on these words. Next, we have lesson number four. Inshallah, we will start it next time. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comments below. Or you can ask me on my WhatsApp. So don't forget to upload your homework. Ma salama.